Welcome everybody, my name is Reinko Rulofs, I'm the product manager of Catwalk XT and I'm going to give you a little uh, presentation about my product. Gait analysis is an increasingly important endpoint for neurological research. And the reason is that whatever you do to the central nervous system, whatever you do to the muscular system, to the peripheral nerve system or the skeletal system, will finally end up in the motor system and will end up in gait. So whether it's either age, genetic, mechanical or chemical, any insult that you uh, place upon these systems will end up in your gait analysis. And the proof of this is uh, the publications that we have and the different uh, disease models that are used for catwalk. Catwalk was born in a spinal cord injury, but in the meanwhile, since 2006, uh, it has also been applied to neuropathic pain, ischemia, stroke and so on. If you go to our website, nolders.com, you can find the product info on Catwalk XT. And there you find this pie chart. If you click on one of the pies, then you can find all the articles that pertain to this uh, disease and in which Catwalk XT has been used. So a little bit about the hardware. The hardware consists of a glass plate on which the animal walks from one side of the Catwalk to the other. There's a corridor to restrain the path of the animal. Uh, there's a red light ceiling and very importantly there's also a camera, a high-speed camera underneath the glass plate. And the reason for that is that the operating principle of Catwalk XT is that you have a glass plate with internally reflected green LED light. The LED light cannot escape the glass plate unless something breaks the glass air barrier, like for instance the foot of a rodent. When the rodent walks on the glass plate, you can see that in the bottom video, Whenever something of the animal touches the glass plate, in this case the paws, green light can escape. And that's extremely important. There's no assumptions made on when the animal touches the glass plate. It's only when the animal touches the glass plate that the green light can escape. So we measure the green light with the, X, uh, the Catwalk XT software. And that's how we measure the exact timing of the footfalls. So what kind of data can you get out of Catwalk XT? Well, first of all, we can get individual footprint-based parameters. That's, for instance, the width of the print, the length of the print, uh, the orientation of the print uh, towards the body angle, uh, but also the intensity of the footprint, etc. And from these parameters, we can uh, calculate uh, indices like the perioneal, the tibial, and the, uh, the sciatic functional index. But we also can measure the distances between prints, like for instance the base of support. When you look at the left side and the right side of the same of the hind paws, for instance, and then you can measure what is the distance and how that changes uh, with your disease model. But most importantly, because we have a high-speed camera underneath the glass plate, we can also uh, have a very fine temporal uh, relationship between the paws. So not only what is the distance between the hind paws, but what was exact timing when they uh, touched the glass plate and how long were they on the glass plate. And these give a very, very large amount of time-based positional parameters that allow you to, for instance, measure regularity index and changes in the gait patterns. And you see in this movie uh, below, you see a red. It's very difficult to see that there's something changing in the footfall patterns, but Catwalk XT can, can measure these changes uh, very reliably. A little bit about the track record of uh, Catwalk XT. Catwalk XT has been on the market since 2006. It's been uh, sold in over 39 countries, more than 300 systems, and more than 2,000 uh, publications have been published with the use of Catwalk XT. This was the end of the presentation. If you have any questions, please contact us.